Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle and today I'm bringing you movie review number four of today. These are four movies that I grew up just loving from my earlier years when I was just a kid up through my adult life and these four movies are some of my personal favorites and this fourth movie I'm going to be talking about is my all-time favorite movie. Uh, any genre, any film of all time. Um, this movie, of course, that I am talking about, uh, in December of 2011, it was preserved in the Library of Congress by the National Film Registry. Uh, this movie had 61 award nominations and won 29 uh, uh, in 1994. This movie, of course, is Forrest Gump, released on July 6, 1994. It is a romantic, historical dramedy movie that received overwhelmingly positive reviews from critics and fans. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, Rotten Tomatoes uh, doesn't know a good movie if it jumped up and bit them. It has a 73% on Rotten Tomatoes which I think is just ridiculously low. <clears throat> but the fans, um, it has a 96% on Google, an 8.8 out of 10 on IMDb, and CinemaScore gave it a grade of an A plus on the A plus to F grade scale. Uh, despite what the critics think, the fans and people who went to go see this movie loved it. This movie had a $55 million budget and it made $677.9 million at the box office. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis and written by Eric Roth. It is based on the novel by Winston Groom. Uh, many people may not know, but uh, Bill Murray, Chevy Chase, and Sean Penn were considered for the role of Forrest Gump. Ultimately, it went to Tom Hanks. And this movie stars Tom Hanks, Sally Field, um, Michael Humphreys, Robin Wright, uh, Hannah Hall, Gary Sinise, McKelty Williamson, Peter Dobson, uh, Haley Osment. Um, and this movie, like I said, not only its nominations, but award wins is phenomenal. Uh, Tom Hanks won for Best Actor at the Oscars, along with uh, Best Movie, Director, Visuals, Screenplay, and Editing. It had 13 Oscar nominations in total. It beat out movies like The Shawshank Redemption uh, and Pulp Fiction, which some critics that I watch on YouTube think Pulp Fiction is a better movie than Forrest Gump. <laughs> no. Uh, Forrest Gump uh, definitely deserved to win for Best Picture, uh, along with many other awards. As a matter of fact, I think um, uh, Robin Wright, Gary Sinise, and Sally Field should won uh, Oscars for their performances as well. But all that aside, uh, this movie is about a simpleton, uh, Forrest Gump. Now, it starts off when he was a kid, and young Forrest is played by Michael Humphreys, and he did a great job in this movie. Forrest, not only not being that smart, has trouble with his back, so he has to have braces on his legs uh, uh, during some time in school. Eventually, his back straightens up, while running from bullies, these braces break. But the one thing I love, uh, beginning of this movie, a uh, young Forrest meets a young Jenny, played by Hannah R. Hall, and she is just the sweetest little girl in this movie, and she befriends Forrest, who gets picked on, don't know I want to be friends with him, and I think later on in life, uh, if this was actually real life, they would learn to regret that. But um, they become best friends. They're like peas and carrots. I love that line. Uh, 
she teaches them how to read. He teaches her how to climb. Um, but there's one uh, uh, dirty, dark secret, unfortunately, that young Jenny uh, is hiding. And eventually we find out that she is being uh, sexually abused by her father. Eventually, uh, the cops are called and uh, she goes to live with her grandmother. Uh, the father loses uh, control and custody of the kids. And she basically lives just right down the street from Forrest and would go spend some time at his house. And then fast forward uh, years later, Jenny and Forrest are in high school now. Forrest is still being picked on. He's still running from bullies. But man, can he run fast. And in doing so, uh, one day when he's running from the bullies, he catches the eyes of uh, some college football scouts and coaches. And eventually goes to the University of Alabama uh, for five years, graduates, and uh, becomes a big time football star so much that he is on the All-American football team. Uh, he was a punt returner who just did some damage. But while in college, he learns um, how to be an adult, per se. Um, he still has an infatuation with uh, Jenny, loves her to death. Um, in one instance in the movie, uh, Jenny is making out with a boy and Forrest too was there at her college waiting for her uh, beats the crap out of him, which I think is funny. Um, they go to separate colleges during this time time period. They were all boys and all girls colleges. And uh, it was forbidden for them to have uh, boys in their dorms. Uh, eventually, though, Later on, uh, down the road, Jenny is kicked out of college for posing nude in, uh, uh, in her school sweater. Forrest, after he graduates from college, he decides to enlist in the Army and goes to fight in uh, Vietnam. Before I get into that, um, like I said, he's on the All-American football team. He gets to meet the president, um, and he has some awkward encounters with the president. Uh, not just the one he meets, but he meets several presidents during the time periods. And he's growing up when uh, Elvis was king, uh, going back to when he was a young Forrest. Uh, the gentleman who played uh, Elvis was Peter Dobson, but the voice singing, people may not know, was Kurt Russell singing uh, the songs. And Kurt Russell does a great impression of Elvis Presley. Uh, so you, if you didn't know that, that is actually Kurt Russell singing uh, the Elvis songs. Uh, before us, he meets a lot of significant historical people during his time. Uh, and we'll get into that a little bit more too as we go uh, through the movie. But he enlists in the army where he meets uh, his buddy, uh, Benjamin Bur uh, Buford Blue, uh, also known as Bubba, played by McKelty Williamson. And Williamson is excellent in this movie for the part that he is in. And uh, they are sent to the front lines and they meet Lieutenant Dan, played by Gary Sinise, who does a great job in this freaking movie as Lieutenant Dan. And they're out um, walking and patrolling, and they are ambushed. And basically, Lieutenant Dan's whole platoon is wiped out. Forrest um, was given advice by Jenny to run away if you're ever in trouble over there. And so he takes that advice. He actually runs out of there. But when he finds out that he's the only one standing there, uh, he's like, this ain't good. And he runs back in and starts pulling people out. Uh, and in doing so, he's awarded uh, the Purple Heart and all these medals and things. And, uh, 
he goes back in for Bubba, who uh, sadly dies in his arms there in Vietnam. He pulls Lieutenant Dan out, who uh, eventually um, loses his legs uh, from the uh, from a knee down. But Lieutenant Dan, his family had a tradition where each member, male member of their family, uh, had died in every American war before that. And uh, that's what he was planning on doing. He didn't want Force to pull him out. But uh, Force saves their lives, and they all get sent home. Force is still there. He gets shot in the buttocks. And of course, he gets to meet the president again, but he meets uh, uh, Tricky Dick, uh, Richard Nixon, who uh, um, was uh, forced to resign after the Watergate scandal, which Forrest happened to be staying in the Watergate Hotel. Um, and of course, he meets Jenny again throughout this movie uh, in their adult life. He runs into Jenny several times. During this time, uh, she is riding with the Black Panthers. Uh, her boyfriend during that time uh, hits her, uh, and Forrest just goes off on her and just beats the crap out of him, which I love that part. And uh, he uh, gives her a medal that he won for doing basically what she said to do. There are some funny moments in this movie, of course, when he first meets uh, uh, John F. Kennedy after drinking all those Dr. Peppers. He's like, I got a pig. And <laughs> that's one of my funny, funny favorite moments in Forrest Gump. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot of them. But uh, yeah, after the Vietnam War, uh, Forrest gets into ping pong and gets invited to China to take on uh, some of their best. And the special effects they use during the ping pong uh, tournaments is amazing. Uh, but he can, he becomes a national hero, not only for the war, but for playing ping pong and doing all kinds of things. Uh, the company gives him a check for 25 grand uh, just to use their ping pong paddles. And so he takes that money and delivers on the promise he made Bama there in Vietnam that they were going to go in the shrimp business and they were going to call it bubblegum shrimp. And uh, that's exactly what he does with that 25000 after his mom convinces him to you know, cash the check and use the paddles. And he buys him a shrimping boat. Um, Lieutenant Dan, of course, made a promise to be his first mate if he was ever a shrimp boat captain and he delivers on that promise uh, but Forrest being who he is uh, he names his boat uh, after the most beautiful woman in the world Jenny uh, during this time that they're shrimping they have a bit of bad luck and then of course they run into a storm which is one of the strongest hurricanes on record and it wipes out all the boating industry except for one boat that is still standing. And that is Forrest Gump's boat, Jenny. And so they basically rule the shrimp business and start making tons of money. And Forrest, even though Bubba was dead, gave his share to his mom, who uh, was a servant to uh, white people uh, for all that time. So in return, after she sees the big enormous check, she passes out, but then uh, she returns, has a white woman serving her. And I love that as well, um, especially in the South, because uh, that, that was really big during then. Uh, but Forrest is a man of his word. He's loyal to his friends, uh, his family. He loves to death, and he loves Jenny. As he loves Lieutenant Dan, uh, Bubba. He uh, he turns out to be a really great guy, and I would imagine uh, a lot of his classmates would really regret that 
and this serves as a great lesson. Be nice to one another. You know, you never know who uh, you're going to enjoy spending time with. Whether it's just a friendship, a relationship, doesn't matter. Just treat everyone how you want to be treated. And just go with that. But uh, this is the real world, and that's never going to happen. But we all can dream. But uh, this movie is historically significant. I think this movie should be shown in every history class throughout the world. I think it's a great movie, um, not only in our history, but history of the world, too, because some of our history did impact uh, the world as well. Um, but Forrest, the reason I love this movie so much is he gets to see so many great historical things through his eyes, and we get to watch him and observe what he does. And just a regular old simpleton ends up having one of the best lives ever uh, from his um, uh, Purple Hearts and uh, all those awards to being a uh, All-American football player, college graduate, uh, war hero, a shrimp boat captain. I love the fact that you can see all that, that all those things. And uh, yeah, I just, I love this movie. The special effects, especially um, the archive footage from uh, John F. Kennedy, and where he actually met the All American football team. And uh, it's just a tremendous achievement in film and film editing, cinematography, the screen printing, the, the directing, everything about this movie is perfect. Um, and of course, in the end of the movie, um, Jenny, after years of being on the road, using drugs, she finally wants to settle down. And one night, her and Forrest have sex. And then again, she leaves. Um, and he goes running for several years. And finally, they reconnect. Um, and the whole entire time, he's sitting on the bench telling the story, waiting on a bus. Come to find out that Jenny's place is only a few blocks down the road. And after talking to this older lady and many people before and telling the story, he runs down there, come to find out she's a mom. And she's really there to tell Forrest that he's the father. And that is Forrest Gump Jr. Um, one of the main reasons is, is she has caught something that but the doctors don't know what it is and there's nothing they can do about it. And then she is dying. And you can have your own interpretation, but in my opinion, it is the HIV virus or she had full blown AIDS from using all those dirty needles and all uh, having unprotected sex and just all that crazy stuff. Um, although it is never said what she dies from, but that's my opinion, and I truly believe that's what she dies from in the movie. Um, she passes away. Forrest is left to care for his son, and he has some special times with him. Um, but Forrest has gone through a lot in this movie, um, from losing loved ones, family, friends, to being, like I said, just being a hero and doing all this while just being a under average educated man and uh, that's what I love about this movie I tear up every time uh, his mom uh, Bubba and Jenny uh, die I, uh, I love this movie for what it is and to me this is a perfect movie I think it's one of the best movies uh, ever made uh, and in my opinion, it is my favorite movie of all time. I think, again, it having only a 73% on Rotten Tomatoes is ridiculous. It definitely should be uh, in the high 90s, if not 100%. Uh, but I'm not alone on this. 
Cinema Score, uh, IMDb, and Google agree with me. But uh, yeah, that is the gist of the movie. There's some things I left out. I do love the fact that he helps people while he's running uh, in the t-shirt business, the bumper sticker business. I thought that was really funny. But uh, like I said, he got to do a lot of things throughout his life. And uh, I just appreciate everything about this movie, uh, the historical events especially. This is an educational movie as well as a fun movie. And uh, yeah, I, I love every actor and character in this movie and there's nothing else i really need to say about this movie it is a perfect movie and of course it deserves and gets a 10 out of 10 from me and two thumbs up so other than that in the comment section below please tell me what did you think about forest Gump? do you think it's underrated do you think it's overrated let me know in the comment section below and let me know who your favorite character of this movie is for me, I love, um, I don't want to talk about the two main leads, Forrest and Jenny, I'm not going to count. Outside of that, I love Lieutenant Dan. Uh, Gary Sinise does a great job in this movie. I also love the friendship between um, uh, Bubba and Forrest. Um, but as I said, though, every character in this movie is great. Again, I think uh, Robin Wright, Gary Sinise, and Sally Field should have won Oscars for their performances as well. That's just my opinion. I know there's some people out there, especially on YouTube, who would whine and cry about that. But, you know, we all have our own opinion, but this is just mine. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. Stay tuned for more content. I'll be doing more movie reviews of personal favorites of mine along with new movies that I watch, whether it's from this year or years before. Uh, I also do top 10 rankings and TV show reviews, and I'm also starting to do some top 10 lists involving some of my favorite uh, music artists, whether they be boy bands, R&B, country, rap, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as I love at least 10 songs of theirs, I will do a top 10 list. So other than that, I thank you guys for watching and check you later.